Hello and welcome to another Raggy's beer review. Over in Raggy's tap room, to apologise for the unkempt look. Uh, decorating, gardening, decorating, and then internet work. So, always busy, always busy. It keeps you going, doesn't it? So today, a uh, big massive thanks to my mate Keith for sorting me out two bottles. I did a quick review the other day, but I need to do a proper review. So this is Hawkstone Lager. Don't know what it is. Jeremy Clarkson's lager from his Diddley Squat farm. I think that's what it was called anyway. A premium Cotswold lager. 4.8% per do apologise there. So just getting the little light on here. I need to actually plug my light in because I've actually got a light for just for this reason. What it is, the, the light in the back of the room isn't the greatest. Um, So, hewn from the mineral rich bedrock of the Cotswold Hills, the Hawkstone, a Neolithic standing stone, which gives our lager its name, has stood for generations. The Cotswold brash soil in which it rests is hard and unforgiving, but for those who persist, it yields malting barley of unusually high quality, ideal for brewing. After harvest, our master brewer painstakingly and meticulously combines the marley with select hops, yeast and the purest water possible before allowing it to mature for up to six weeks, during which time it develops its distinctively clean flavour. Hard to make, easy to drink. Now, I remember last year, there was a bit of controversy last year because a certain beer reviewer gave this 9 out of 10 and people can do what they like on beer reviews you know it's only your own opinion at the end of the day um but same beer reviewer poured a beer down the sink in it, instead of explaining why that beer wasn't for him properly poured it and the beer itself was a good beer so you know it's having that balance and doing beer reviews. Um, now, the big thing is we're in a cost of living crisis. This beer is apparently three times the price of its a normal standard lager. Uh, I will go on uh, the likes of Amazon now and tell you the price. Um, Hawkstone Lager. So it's at Amazon. Thirty-five quid for twelve bottles. Shush. Uh, that is expensive. Uh, wow. Now let's have a drink of it. Let's dissect it. And then dissect the price. And then I'll give you... Uh, I gave a review the other day on taste only. Now I'm going to give you a review. But on taste and price. Because both things matter. Cost of living crisis. They matter. So here we go. So as we can see. It's a straw coloured pour. Good bit of carbonation going off there. Set, um, five mils of white head with a lovely little bubble on the top. Hey, bubbly. Um, I'll be honest, it smells like any other lager. Um, it's chilled. It's in the bare room. It's always chilled this time of the year. And then in the summer it's baking, but what can you do? You know, I'd need aircon on and on all the time with windows, roof windows and sh stuff. Um, nearly swore there. Mm. Yeah, there's a, there's a slight sweetness there. Um, so, literally three quid. 
Yeah, three quid a bottle. And that's for a free 30 ml bottle. Uh, what you can get in supermarkets um, for about 12 quid a case. And I'm talking Estrella, Staropromen, you know, decent world lagers uh, for 12 quid. There's a nice bite to it. I mean, technically, it's not a bad lager. It's okay. Um, I don't, at the moment, taste in anything that says, oh, I'm in have a bracket, baby. Um, not the moment. It's got a nice bite. Um, taste wise, I had the one I had the other day, to be fair, it was a slightly warmer. And I've got to be honest, warmer brought out different characteristics. It wasn't warm, but it was warmer than what this is. This is basically um, fridge temperature, at which you would drink most lagers at. Um, Against other lagers, I'll stick to what I said the other day when I gave it a 4.0. Now remember, Raggy's Beer Reviews, every different category has its own. I don't put lagers in craft ales. Uh, reason why? Put that against an Imperial Stout. The Imperial Stout with its quality of flavour, aroma would slaughter that you know it is what it is so uh, i don't know about any other beer channel out there that if they give scores a lot of don't these days you know some do some don't everyone does what they do you know there's no written law uh everyone's got a viewpoint and, and that's that's the good thing that's the you know that's where uh if you're calling yourself a beer reviewer you know you should at least have that ability to um dissect a beer and be reasonable about it, you know, um, pouring something down the sink. I mean, if, unless it's absolutely terrible. Um, I've only done that once in five, nearly five years. Five years, wow. Uh, it's coming up. Um, literally three months off. Four months. Uh, but Leif, in four and a half years, I only ever poured one beer away where it was wrenching my bloody... And it tasted like sweaty socks. And I've drank some woeful beers. I think I've drank prune juice wine, you know, so if, I can, <laughs> if I can drink prune juice wine. Um, yeah, and it does wind me up when people pour beer down the sink when, you know, it's it's, you know, just for that statement. I don't, you know... People can say, oh, well, but, um, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, so, it's a reasonable lager. Obviously, it's got Jeremy Clarkson's name on it. Does that make it a great lager? No, not really. Um, it makes it a lager, you know. Um, fair play to Jeremy Clarkson and his company. Because if you're putting something at 36 quid and people are buying it and buying it in their thousands, possibly because some beer reviewer gave it a 9 out of 10, but um, who's got a lot of followers. But um, yeah, uh, I do wonder if coin passed. I do wonder. Uh, uh, when you get to it, obviously. I know this from my work on websites and uh, in the day and I know this from other gaming we this is websites very similar where the reviews were bloody favorable and I know that money passed and uh, do I know this time no I don't I don't, I don't I, and uh, I'm only surmising so for me uh, like I said it is it, it's it's a nice lager, but 
36 quid? <laughs> I don't really think so. I put that against um, any of the world lagers, the German lagers, and I'm telling you now, um, they're much better value. So, if we're looking at price, and this is where, you know, um, I do wonder with beer reviews whether, in a world where people are struggling for money, um, whether you should have a score purely on taste. And then a score purely on both taste and the cost. Uh, and do the same across the board with all beers. Imperial, you know, even if even if it's some bloody hype brewery. Um, and say the beer alone is say, you know, 4.5. The price of the beer and the beer, 3.9. And uh Makes you wonder, doesn't it? As for this, uh, there's nowhere on God's green earth that's three times better than any of the world lagers that I've already mentioned. Um, and uh, <laughs> I think your Fosters and Carling drinkers uh, would put one be one and not really taste much of a difference. It may be, it may have these things, but uh, you know. Uh, for me, it's all about the name. Uh, it's a fashion accessory. L like you go to shops and you get your Ralph Lauren t-shirts and I've bought them bloody t-shirts. Uh, albeit in America where it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Where it was a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, like a Ralph Lauren t-shirt here is 95 quid. Back then, anyway, God knows what it is these days. I got mine for $30 in America. Well, like 15 quid at the time. Um, might be, yeah, it might have been about 17.50, but it was a hell of a lot cheaper. And it just goes to show you that you know, we've got to be very careful about buying something just because it's a brand and just because of the, the name behind the brand. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, they're getting away with it. Uh, but I don't agree with it, you know, in a time when... I know breweries, Lincoln Green, they're making a cask, a, a cask lager that for me uh, is better than that. Silver Hill Pilsner is better than that. Um, and a lot cheaper as well. Not literally three quid a pint. <laughs> yeah. So, um, whilst, you know, fair play to them it, for, for charging what they charge, but uh, no. So, taste-wise, it's a 4 out of 5. 4.0 out of 5. Price comes into the factor. Got to be honest, it's going to drop, but it drops to about 3.3. Why? Because it shouldn't. That is a big price for what is. Nothing special about a lager. It's it's a good lager, but I wouldn't say it's any better than any of the world lagers out there. Um, all down to taste. You know, it's all down to what you get. And like I said, I'm really happy my, for my mate who who actually got hold of this for me because at least I got to try it and um, you know see what all the fuss was about. Um, and, uh, you know, it, oh, he's in the pub. Yeah, see what all the fuss is about. Thank you for watching. Cheers.